Hi Ryan, it's Grant Abbott speaking. How are you? Um, just uh, working on my computer here. Just thought I'd take you quickly through the services agreement. You can either find those in the business and commercial agreement or we can easily just poke that up here. So you can see the service agreement for general purposes. Um, I'm on uh, unlimited um, document usage so I can effectively just start it without any drama. Um, so you can look at, about the product, general information benefits. So make sure you have a really good look through that. Okay, so the cost of it is $99. I need to put it into a client folder. Now I'm just going to put it in the Abbott test folder. I'm going to start the document and it will pop pretty quickly. Our service is pretty good. We're going to have a look at our main frame that we work in. Um, so this is our Hot Dogs Hub powered by, it's powered by Hot Dogs. So I need to put in the name of the document. So it's going to be the Smith Services Agreement. That way I can identify it quickly when I go back and relaunch the document. Um, I'm going to use the Abbott Morley um, logo, but if you're with us, um, then you would have been given a five uh, character logo anyway, uh, which you can get up to white label your documents. So when is the service agreement? You can simply put in the date. I'm going to do the 25th. Um, I'm up in Queensland. Um, I'm looking at the client. So again, um, who's the client? Now let's do an uh, inter-company client. So I've got a services trust. So I'll call it the Smith Business Services Trust. Um, and the trustee is, for the sake of it, I'll just put an individual. So I'll put John Smith, who's the founder and the, set, the person who started it up. So I've got five Smith Street and just tab Brisbane, tab Queensland and that's 4,000. So that's my trustee. I can add an additional trustee if I want on the way through. Um, I can also, which is important, I can also, um, as we go through, you'll see up here, I can save the answers which means when I do that, it'll be available in my in-progress docs, or I can have a look at document preview or the answer summary. So there's the client. Now the service provider um, is going to be um, a company. We're gonna call it, in fact, I've got it around the wrong way, so it's not a bad idea to just show you how easy it is to amend. So the client is going to be um, the business trust. And then what I'm going to do is a service provider here. It's also going to be a trust. And we're going to put it the Smith Businesses Services Trust. So it shows you how easy it is to amend. And we'll put in here a company. So we've got the Smith nominees. I'm going to put in their proprietary limit. I like that one. I mean, we've got a lot there, but you know, that's my preference. A lot of people just want to have the same thing. So five Smith Street, uh, Brisbane, Queensland for, oops, Queensland 4,000. Um, and we'll have two directors here. Um, you just simply put in as many deck directors as you want, but I'm just going to put in two, confirm, and that'll pop up there. So I've got John, oops, John Smith. And then I'm going to have Sally Smith, his wife. And you need to tick this who's actually going to sign. So I've got those two people signing. That's all we need to do. So we go to the next page. Okay, so provide um, all the guarding services at the home office. So let's have a look at the, uh, the service name. Uh, for that one, we're going to have a look at the provision of uh, qualified... Uh, staff to various locations of Smith business, both in Queensland and throughout Australia. So what I'm doing is I'm actually writing stuff in that will then pop up um, into the document, which is if you want. And then what I have to do is I just have to press tab. I'll say the management and 
administration of, oops, sorry, there you go, administration of each location, including the provision of accounts, bookkeeping, um, back office duties, and payroll. So I can do that. And then tab again, the provision of HR and other occupational requirements. The payment of salaries, superannuation, payroll, oops, <laughs> payroll, look at the way it's been, payroll, tax and other duties on all employees. Um, and then you can just keep on going. So really what we do there is then go the service fee, please insert the service fee. So for example, um, the fees to be paid per location is uh, $150,000 plus a bonus of $20,000 in the event of meeting APIs, which is key performance indicators. Are there additional costs to be uh, covered by the agreement? Let's just say yes, um, additional cost. So what we can do there is um, payment of staff, uh, reimbursements. It can just go on, so you just add it, and keep on adding it. So for example, the payment of superannuation guarantee separately, any wages. And you can just add as much as you want in there. And then we go down and that's it. So I just press next. Check there, I've got all the right signing names. And then if you needed, if you need help, just poke along and give us a support ticket. But otherwise, that's a finish. So what it's doing, it's being rendered in our system. We'll just go out and we'll have a look at it. So remember, I had an Abbott Morley logo there. This is our service agreement. Uh, I just poke it up there and you'll see, and I'll just blow it up a little bit. So there we go. Services agreement between, um, oops, so, John Smith is trustee for the Smith Business Trust and Smith nominees. So I forgot, you can see when you see this, that I've forgotten the ACN. And I'm going to show you how to fix that up shortly. Um, so I go down, there's a legal disclaimer, agreement terms and conditions, 25th of June, uh, between John Smith and Smith nominees, obviously didn't put the ACN. So the engagement of services, the client hereby engages a service provider and service provider accepts such engagement subject to to provide the following services. And you can see I've put all of those. Don't forget, you can see there, I forgot to put the full stop and HR really should have a capital R. So again, I will put that there. And then the service fees, in consideration of service, the client will shall pay the service fee follows. Fees will be paid per like 150,000 plus a bonus of 20,000 meeting KPIs. A payment will be made in arrears as a frequency, blah, 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 blah. Additional costs, so you can put in whatever additional costs Talks about IP ownership, that the client always owns it, uh, service provider, confidentiality information, you've got terms and termination of the agreements at any point in time, jurisdiction and uh, venue, so we need to insert that as well, um, and then miscellaneous. And then we've got the signing parties, so we've got Sean Smith, um, and then the service provider. Um, so what I need to do is, look, that's pretty good, but look, I've made a couple of little uh, boo-boos there. So I just need to go back in. Uh, you'll see there it's gone out of my in progress because I finished it now. So it's in my vault. So I just simply go into there, go into Abbott test. And you'll see down here, 
general purposes. Um, so I could relaunch it there. See the little rocket ship? And I relaunch it. Um, and then what I'm looking for now is, look, um, I can send it off to the client in draft. Uh, and then what we can do from there is I go through the general, which is okay, that was okay. The client, yep, no dramas, that's the right one. Um, and then, oh, you can see there, that's where I made the mistake. I put in the client's ACM and then obviously go in. Services are all the same. Let's tighten it up a little bit. So HR, we can put it in there and put it in a capital HR. Um, and then that's essentially it. Service fees, uh, payment of staff reimbursements, bonuses, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so if we go through there, there's the bonus there measure KPIs um, and then we're off and running. So I then could finish that one and then that's how I prepare. So my new one would come up. So that's how I prepare a service agreement under the Lightyear Docs way.